lightning and thunder. It's that combination of just that good old thunderstorm coming through the tri state, but it's something that so many of you want to know more about. So let's break it down. What is the science behind lightning? Not only here in the tri state, but around the globe and how it all works. OK, so starting with thunderstorms. That's one of the big ingredients you need. You have warm air rising through the atmosphere. You get those big billowing clouds and thunderstorms developing. But as you have ice crystals and water droplets combining within these clouds, you start to get these electrical charges. Positive and negative ions begin to build in clouds and at first they're kind of mixed throughout the cloud, but eventually they start to settle into their own kind of regions. Positive charges in the more northern and are the top anvil higher up. Negative Negative charges toward the bottom of the cloud and then here at the ground we have our own positive charges. So how do they meet? Well, we have what we call leaders. They lead out from these charges and they eventually meet and that's where you get your lightning strikes. Did you know though the anvil strikes, the ones that actually come out on this anvil and come down to the ground, those are the ones that can actually prove to be the most deadly because sometimes, well, a lot of times, it's because people don't expect it to be there yet because it's well ahead of the main thunderstorm. If you've got any more weather questions that you would like answered, let me know and I'll do a video to help break it down.